Yeah, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Javoy here. I'm doing something slightly different, which is, um, would you rather. I've got 13 would you rathers, so, yeah, let's get right down to it. The first one, would you rather race in the Indy 500, Monaco Grand Prix, Le Mans 24 Hours, or the Daytona 500? Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty, that's pretty big. Um... I'd have to go with the Monaco Grand Prix just simply because it's a street circuit and you know it's very very tough it's very physic it's very very tough mentally for the drivers you know going around the circuit 78 times you know it's very grueling it's very tough the barriers are right there to uh, catch you out and uh, it's the one that I've known the best to be honest you know it's the one that I've watched uh, the most so uh yeah, it has to be the Monaco Grand Prix for sure, for sure. Next one, would you rather race in the dry or race in the wet? Honestly, I would like to race in the dry just because I feel more comfortable racing in the dry. I can really show my, my true form, you know, in the dry. Whether it's in the, re in the wet, I don't really feel comfortable. I can't really showcase my true self, you know, to be honest, you know. I just really don't get, I, I just don't really feel, you know, the wetness. I just don't really, I'm not really, I don't feel the comfortableness as I do with, with the dry. I know what you're going to say, oh, it's wet, it's supposed to be like that, but dude, I, it's, there's something about the wet conditions that doesn't really gel with me, to be honest. So, yeah, what dry conditions it are is uh, for me. Uh, next question, would you rather play Xbox One or PS4? Now, uh, it has to be Xbox One. I know what you're going to say, like, oh, PS4, like, um, it has that synchronised, you know, downloads and whatnot. I mean, that's cool, that's cool, but I just, I just, fi I just find, you know, the Xbox One a bit more better than the PS4. I just find it to be the better, the better gaming console out of the two, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. Um, question number four, would you rather love... Forza or Love Gran Turismo? Wow, two of the biggest, probably one of the biggest uh, racing game, you know, companies, franchises out there. I'd have to say Forza. I'd really have to say Forza, to be honest. Just because, you know, of the games that they've take, that they've brought out, you know. They're bringing out games every single year, whereas Gran Turismo, they bring out they bring out every single game every four to five years. And plus, Forza are really making like they they're adapting, you know, they're they're doing something different, you know. For instance, Forza Horizon, you know, you know what they were trying something a little bit different, something creative, you would say, and it paid off brilliantly for Forza as that game really, you know, sold in big numbers. So. Yeah, Forza for me because um, they are consistent and uh, they are creative. They are creative. Uh, next up, would you rather be trapped in a phone box with with one thousand one hundred thousand deadly spiders or one thousand one hundred thousand mosquitoes? Uh, for me, it has to be um, oh. Um, I'm going to have to say Deadly Spiders. I know what you're saying, like, oh, they're deadly or not. Uh, mosquitoes aren't. But just ra I'd rather be re I'd rather be trapped with, uh, with a 100,000 Deadly Spiders than with mosquitoes. I mean, seriously, the amount of bites I'm going to get, the amount of pain I'm going to be, be in when, when uh, getting bitten is going to be insane. So, uh... No, I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not, no. Mosquitoes, no, no. Uh, so, yeah, deadly spiders for me. Would you rather lose your memory of yourself or lose your memory of everyone else? I think, uh, lose, uh, lose your, lose my memory of everyone else. Why? Because, um... You know, I don't want to lose any memory uh, in here, you know, to be honest. I don't want to lose any memory of myself, to be honest, you know. It, I'd, I would hate I would hate to do that, to be honest, you know. You know, I have a lot of, you know, personal 
and I have a lot of personal memories, you know, that I like to keep, you know, inside and, um, yeah, I'd rather lose, lose it with everyone else because, and like I said, you know, you know, losing memory of everyone else's is not as important as losing, and losing memory of yourself because you have personal, you have personal memories of yourself in there, so, um, yeah, don't wanna, don't wanna lose that, to be honest, so I'd rather, uh, lose my memory of uh, lose my memory of everyone else. So uh, yeah, and no offense to anyone who takes this the wrong way. So uh, yeah, uh, would you rather take one hundred one million dollars uh, one million pounds and never do YouTube again, or not take it and continue YouTube? Now for me, I'll do. I'll just not take it. And this might may come as a shock to you. But I'm I I I'm gonna not take it and continue YouTube, just because I love this. You know, this is my life, man. I absolutely love this. Since day one in 2011, I've I've absolutely enjoyed every moment of being on YouTube. You know, it's been a thrilling experience. You guys have been you guys have made me so happy. You know, inside. You know, you guys have been you know you know constantly liking the video, putting views on this, uh, putting views on certain videos. You know, really hitting, you know, major milestones that have never been hit before. And uh, to me, that is, you know, absolutely the best feeling, you know, that I've ever had, you know, on earth. You know, it's fantastic, you know. You guys are the absolute best, you know. You you guys are the ones that continue to make me, uh, you guys are the ones that make me, you know, um, continue to do what I do, you know, so... Thank you very much, you know, for all of what you what you what you have been doing to this channel. So uh, yeah, I do appreciate it. Next up, uh, would you rather date Danica Patrick, Susie Wolf, or Catherine Legg? Um, ooh, has to be. Um, I'm gonna go with Danica Patrick. Hmm, yeah, Danica Patrick for me. Yeah, she. She looks the hottest out of the three, to be honest. So, well, yeah. Would you rather drive for the rest of your life, Nürburgring, Brand Hatch, Spa, Silverstone, Le Mans, or Monaco? Brand Hatch? Has to be Brand Hatch, because it's my favourite circuit. It was the first racetrack that I went to in real life uh, as a spectator. And it was absolutely, the track is absolutely fantastic, you know, it's very hilly, a lot of very, a lot of very grueling, a lot of very challenging corners, for instance, Paddock Hill Bend, uh, on the exit, if you get it wrong, you can hit the, uh, you can uh, run onto the uh, gravel trap, so, uh, yeah, very tough corner there, you've also got, um, Surtees, which uh, leads on to the Grand Prix circuit. Then you got clearways, uh, which if you get wrong, put you in. Like I said, put you in the wall, put you in the uh, gravel trap, and um, and uh, as well, you've got um, you've got like Dingle Dell, Sheen Curve. It's a lot of truly historical corners, you know. So uh, yeah, Brand Touch for me. Like I said, my favourite racetrack, of course. So. Uh, yeah, the um, next one is um, the next one is. Would you rather race on ovals, road courses, or street? For me, it has to be road courses because I've grown up. You know, I've grown up racing on road courses. I've, I've grown up. You know, around you know road courses thanks to F one, thanks to a little bit of IndyCar. You know that type of thing. You know, to be honest, so. I think it has to be road courses. Road courses for me, obviously, you know, just I grew up grew up around over road courses, so yeah, road courses for me. Uh would you rather watch Superman or Batman? Ooh, the two the two superhero heavyweights, you would say. Um has to be uh Superman. You know, my boy Superman, you know, he's just He's incredibly insane, you know. He's he can fly. He can. He he's got he's got the uh, power. Uh, he's got the power of strength. He can. Uh, he can. Uh, he can lift stuff up. He can pull stuff up. It's it, you know he he has the power of strength, and uh, yeah, he also has the power of red eyes, which can 
which can uh, cut through something or even kill someone, which is a a good uh, which is a good a good weapon. And uh, yeah, and uh, and also like I said, for flight, you know, he goes pretty fast. So uh, yeah, Superman, Superman for me. Would you rather race for Ferrari, McLaren, or Red Bull? McLaren because they are my favourite team, thanks to Ayrton Senna, uh, uh, James Hunt, um, Lewis Hamilton, Jensen Button, Mika Hakkinen. You know, so many great champions that have taken that team to constructors and even drivers' titles. So, yeah, the, and also, you know, it's just the team that I think I grew up, you know, loving, to be honest. You know, thanks to um, Lewis Hamilton uh, back in 2007. So, uh, yeah, McLaren for me. So, uh, yeah. Would you rather have the power to be invisible, to fly, or to breathe underwater? I think it has to be uh, to fly, to absolutely fly, because I can get to places really quickly. Um, with invisibility, I, it wouldn't be good because um, nobody. Could, I, I just, I just wouldn't. I, nobody could see me. Me, to be honest. I mean, it'd be good, it'd be useful for sneaking in to places and whatnot, but. Nah, something that I wouldn't like to to use, to be honest. Uh, and to breathe underwater, nah, not my thing. Just because of, you know, jellyfishes, you know, sharks and all that. So, yeah, could get, you know, stung, could get, you know, eaten by sharks and whatnot. So, yeah, I'd rather have the power to fly. So, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for uh, Would You Rather. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. It's your boy, Jumper Boy. I'm out. Peace!